welcome to day 27 of the 30 day challenge. Woo! So we are at the end uh, for, for those of us who have been on our Thanksgiving holiday break, we are at the end of the break. Hopefully you have gotten back into the groove of things. So we are going to go ahead and start with our challenge for today. If you're joining us for the first time, we have only three days left of this challenge, so let's push out and be strong. We are doing three different challenges. You can do one, two, or three of all three of them. We are doing what's called the wall sit challenge. We then have our Tony Love challenge and our Tammy challenge. So I want to make sure that you all know that on December 1st, I will be doing two new challenges so far. Not sure if there's going to be a third one or not, but I want to invite you to join me as we move out of this old year, 2016, into the new year working out. We will be doing an arm challenge and a butt and glute challenge. That's two challenges. So the arm challenge is one, but, sorry, butt and gut is what it's called. Butt and gut challenge is the second challenge so far. So I hope you're gonna join me December 1st for that challenge. So let's get started. We are gonna go ahead and start with our wall sits. And we are doing four minutes and 30 seconds against the wall. So make sure that your back is flat against the wall. And you're gonna go ahead and go down. I like to step out a little bit further. And again, four minutes, 30 seconds, start now. So we wanna make sure that, you wanna make sure you're as low as you can go. Back is flat against the wall. You wanna make sure that when you're in this position, that if your knees start to bother you, your knees begin to hurt, one of the lights went out. <laughs> your knees begin to hurt, my feet are sliding. <laughs> Sorry, and um, then you stand up some. You don't have to squat all the way down. You definitely want to make sure your knees are not over your toes. So, I'm really excited about this next challenge we're doing because with the next challenge for December, we are working almost all of our body parts, right? So we're tackling our arms. We're doing arms. We even get a little chest in with the arms. We're also gonna be doing our legs, I mean our abs, and our butt. But sometimes when we're working our butt, that um, we are also going to be working our legs at the same time, right? So, I keep on sliding, I should've probably put my other shoes on. So let's um, stay strong in this. If you need to stand up, please feel free to stand up, take a break or just go as low as you can. So here's like some different positions that people may be in. So we are almost two minutes in to this wall sit. So now my legs are definitely beginning to burn. I'm not even sure why, because lately I haven't been able to hold it um, so far the entire time. So we'll see what happens. Um, I may need to do as some of you and take a break and stand up. Um, I definitely will be if my, if my feet keep on sliding, I need to take my socks off or these um, like hospital socky things that you get. So I hope everybody's back on track as I said at the beginning um, with your eating. So now is definitely the time to get back on track, time to start eating your fresh fruits, going back to your vegetables, having your healthy carbs. Hope if you've had leftovers, you are done with the leftovers. Um, you put them in the freezer. Remember that in less than 30 days, we have Christmas. And for those of you that celebrate Christmas, um, you know, we will be having probably, maybe some of us have the same food to eat. So no need to go overboard where you're going to probably be eating the same food again. Right? So my legs are really starting to burn. So I am going to actually slide up, kind of, Take a small break here. Actually, I'm going to take these socks off because my feet keep sliding also while I'm on the break. So see, even I have to take a break sometimes. It does, it is really burning. So I'm going to drop those off. I'm going to go back down. That's much better. <sighs> there we go. So tomorrow is the beginning of the week. So I hope you guys are ready. I hope you're prepping your meals. 
Um, now, what I will say is I have decided that I was going to prep my meals like part of Thanksgiving. So some of my food is in the freezer, some I need to freeze still. But I made a lot of vegetables. And so with the vegetables, I actually prepped those for next week or for the next couple days. So that was one of the best benefits of me cooking for Thanksgiving was that I cooked a ton of vegetables and now I have those ready for next week. Also because they're frozen, like I froze them, so it's fine, I can take them out and frost them. Also, I just need to really make my carb, which will probably be brown rice for the week. And then I also um, need to decide on what I'm gonna eat for breakfast, which will probably also be Oh, we got 30 seconds left to go. Which will probably also be, um, which will probably also be oatmeal for the week. So I have also noticed that I have not been doing a lot of cardio lately for maybe like the last couple weeks. And so that has actually started to affect the way my body looks. So just know that cardio is a good thing for you. You know, it does help with weight loss. It helps to slim in your waist, especially when you're walking and you're moving your arms. If you're on the treadmill, don't hold on to the treadmill. Um, actually, and stand up. Actually, what you should do is don't hold on to the treadmill at all and move your arms like this. See, look what happens when I'm moving my arms, right? If I'm walking like this, look what happens to my waist, right? So now you're working your waist. If you're holding on, you're just walking like this. But you're not moving your waist, so you get that extra um, ab workout. Let me keep going. <laughs> so, okay, so next we're doing our um, tone it up challenge. We are doing our 10 burpees, and we're doing 12 squats, six push-ups, and now we're going to up the number in the plank. We're doing a two minute plank this time. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna be doing alternatives because I did hurt my shoulder the other day. So let's get started with our burpees. 10 burpees, let's go. Down, I'm gonna step back. I won't be doing push-ups, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, five, six. Stand up. Squeeze when I stand up. Abs are tight when I'm in the plank position. That's one. Go down. Step back. Mountain climber. One. Two. Abs tight. Three. Four. Five. Six. Now I'm going to stand up. I'm going to squeeze when I stand. That's two. I'm going to go down. Step back. And now I'm going to do kind of like one, two, this works more obliques, two, three, four, five, six. Stand up, squeeze, that's three. Go down, step back, step up, step back, step up, step back, step up, step back, step back. one more. Step up, stand up. That's four. See, so you can do it any kind of way. Go down. Step back. You'll be in this position. I'm going to jump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step up, stand up. That's five. We're halfway through. Go down. Step back. Now I'm just going to go up and down, right? So, one. Two, three, four, five, six. Step up, stand up. Woo, get tired now. That's uh, seven, I think. Go down, step back. I'm in a plank. Step up, high knees. One, two, breathe. Three, abs tight. Four, knees as high as you can get them. Six. That's eight. Two more. Go down. Step back. Step up. Stand up. We're going to do some punches. 
My legs are far apart, I'm going to twist. One, two, breathe out. Three, breathe. Four, breathe. Five, breathe. Six, breathe. That's nine. Last one, let's go down. We're going to step back in a plank. Step up, jump up. That's ten. So how about that for all those different types of alternatives to plank? If you did the push-ups in between, great job. I hope some of you did. Now, let's get to our squats. I think we're doing 12 squats today. So I want you to do something different. I'm going to face you. Stand with your legs a little bit farther than shoulder width. We're doing 12 of them. I want you to touch the floor. So sit back, touch the floor with your fingertips. Let's go. Down, look up, look at me. That's one. Stand up. Still squeeze. Down, two, down, three. That's what it looks like from the side. Down, four, down, five. Make sure you're breathing out when you stand up and you're squeezing. That's seven, down, eight. Sit back. Nine. Sit back. Ten. So now let's go on the floor. We're going to go ahead and do our push-ups. Now today I am going to do the alternative push-ups just because of my shoulder. So we are doing six push-ups. I'm going to do these actually on my knees. Some of you have told my shoulder and wrist are aligned. I'm just doing these right here. Now, what I want you to do, though, is if you are um, not having an injury and you've been doing your push-ups, do them the entire time and do them the, in the position you always have done them in. Again, you can do them on your toes, on your knees, with your arms spread out further. Make sure your back is flat, abs are pulled in, and they are tight. Go down as low as you can. Let's go. One. Two. If you're doing this, make sure you're squeezing your arms coming up. Four. Five. Six. You should feel that actually in your triceps. Now, let's go ahead and do our two-minute plank. Got to get our trusty timer here. Okay, so get into the position. Any position, and let's go. So I'm going to start on my hands. Again, you can start in any position you would like. Maybe you're starting here. This is fine. You can actually also alter, alternate between plank positions. So you may start here. Then you may go up here for a while. You may go down on your, or you may start here. Here, make sure your um, butt is up. Like kind of supposed to be right at your shoulders. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure your abs are tight. And I'm going back up. And like I said, you can alternate between them. If your arms or you just get tired, take a break. Okay? So here you're working. Abs, back, arms, quads, glutes. You're working it all over. So breathe. If you're shaking, breathe. I'm shaking. So I have to pay attention to my form on this as well. So hold on. We have 30 seconds left. Again, if you need to take a break, take a break. Jump back in with us. You can move your legs. If your legs are starting to burn, do this. Don't arch your back. If you feel your back arching, pull up some. Pull your abs in tighter. And we have five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Great job, everyone. Now, we're going to end 
We're going to now end with our Tammy challenge. So let's just turn around. We're going to put our feet on the floor. Let's just do regular crunches this time. I'm going to move back just a little bit more. Regular crunches. Feet flat on the floor. Hands behind your head. Don't pull on your neck. So pretend there's a tennis ball between your chin and your neck. Look up to the ceiling. Let's go. Up. Breathe out. That's one. Breathe out. That's two. Breathe out. That's three. You're probably going to feel these because we just held the plank for two minutes. I think this is six. Breathe out. Breathe out. Nine. One more. Ten. Great job. Now, we're going to do our oblique challenge. So what I want you to do is lay on your side. You're going to take your one hand behind your head. And you're going to come up like this. You're squeezing here on the side, right here, okay? So let's go. Up. One. Up. Breathe out. Up. That's three. Up. That's four. Up. Come up as high as you can. That's five. Up. Six. Make sure you're squeezing here at the top. That's eight. Do what you can. Nine. Great job. And ten. Other side, flip over. Knees are bent. Um, hand behind my hand behind my head, and let's go up. One, squeeze here. That's two. Up, three. Up, that's four. Up, that's five. Up. Six. When you come up, breathe out. Seven. That helps a lot. Uh, nine to squeeze your abs or your obliques. Ten. Great job, everyone. Now we have to do our push-ups on this side. While I'm facing this way, I'm just going to go ahead. You do the push-up position that you would like. Remember, don't arch your back like this. Abs are pulled in tight. And we're doing 10. So let's go. Down, up, one. Even in this position, keep your abs tight when you go down. Down, two. Down, breathe out. Down, four. Down, five. Down, six. Down, seven. Down, eight. Down, Nine, down, ten. Great job. Now, let's finish up strong. Let's do our ten jumping jacks and then our ten squats. So let's do uh, the squats first. She's going to stand here, shoulder width apart. Sit back. We won't touch the floor this time. Go down. Stand up. That's one. Down. Up. Two, down, up, three, squeeze, down, up, four, breathe out, down, up, five, the action is in the stand, six, as you squeeze, down, seven, in no rush, eight, feet are flat, sit back, nine, sit back, and ten. Great job, everyone. So now let's go ahead and finish strong with our jumping jacks. Let's get started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job, everyone. I'm so excited that you pushed through. We've added on some numbers, made things a little bit more difficult, but you did it. I'm proud of you. So make sure you find me on social media, on Facebook at Shibby Williams. 
on Instagram at LBX Fitness, one word, on Twitter and Pinterest, LBX Fitness, two words. Visit my website, www.leadingbyexample.us, and join me for the December challenge. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow, day 28. Bye. Keep pushing on, things are done.